It's 6 a.m. It's quiet and it's brisk here at Jekyll Island, Georgia, as we prepare to leave and work our way up the intracoastal. As we go up the intracoastal, <laughs> um, we will be looking for a place to anchor tonight. The intracoastal is made up of a series of islands up in this area. We're going to work our way towards Savannah in the next few days and uh, hopefully by tomorrow we'll be in that vicinity. We'll get some miles behind us. We're getting up early and we'll be heading out. So off we go. The Intracoastal in Georgia. <laughs> So Captain Dan and I are, are getting ready to take off here. We'll be heading under the bridge and we're going up the intracoastal uh, through Georgia. And there seems to be a lot of little islands here, right Captain? Yeah, the whole coast here is one island after another. Some of them pretty well known, like Jekyll mm -hmm. and uh, St. Simon's Island up ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got uh, Hilton Head up there. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we got some more, and then when we go up into the Carolinas, it's, there's probably even more. Yes. Yeah, so, Barrier Islands. So as Captain Dan was saying, St. Simons is one of the islands and it's supposed to be a great stop. But we're going to pass on by because it's pretty close to Jekyll Island, so we'll hit St. Simons on the next time around. Um, so we'll be heading up there. We're looking for some anchorage. Since it's going to be a nice day, we're going to try to get as far as we can and maybe just do one night of anchorage. Uh, if we have to, we'll what I like to call puddle jump and anchor, anchor, anchor. Anchors away, my boys. Anchors away. Two, three, four. The anchor is away, yes. Thank you, Captain Dan. All right, going under the bridge. The causeway. We have a couple bridges we'll be going under today. One we may have to wait for. This step here is like 67, so we're good. Height, I should say. It's a beautiful bridge that we're just riding by. There's a lot of little rivers through here, like the um, Jekyll Island is on the East River, so. A lot of little rivers going up the intercoastal that all kind of combine. Today I started off down below riding while Captain Dan is riding, um, taking the helm from up above. Uh, I was doing some cleaning and some other stuff. And I was just about to head up because it's a beautiful day and it's a beautiful area. So we're north of Jekyll Island heading towards Savannah. We're not going to get to Savannah tonight. We're going to do an anchorage. But as I was just about to head up, oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see it. The windows are full of these weird flies. And Captain Dan is saying that the whole uh, uh, helm up top is full of those big long flies. So they're just bothersome. So I think I'm going to be hanging out down below. There's three of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my gosh, they're all over the place. They are everywhere. Now there's one in here. Great. Finally, we have a nice day. It's about 80, 84-ish. Sunny. Flies have been bad. Uh, we're in Georgia, so that's something new we haven't had in a while. We're going up the Wahoo River just off the intracoastal, and we are going to be looking for anchorage. We're following our buddy boat, Viva La Vida. We're going to anchor right in here somewhere. So that's why I'm at the bow. I got the windlass off. And up, I got the windlass on, and we'll be anchoring shortly. This will be fun. We haven't done this in a little while. All right. We haven't done it since the Keys. So this will be a lot of fun. We have found a beautiful anchorage. It's in this Wahoo River where there's a, around a bend. It's a little wider here. But as you can see, we're totally surrounded by marshland, which is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like we're the only people in the world here, other than Viva La Vida. <laughs> 
but it is so quiet. And um, when we do anchor, uh, I use very inexpensive um, golf range finder, and that is very helpful. We kind of put our eyeball up to it. We we catch something that we're close to to see how far we are from a tree or land or marsh. And it, you click on it, it says 68 yards, and then you can check on it throughout the day to make sure you're holding. And a very inexpensive golf range finder for anchoring it. I highly recommend it. We are leaving Horizon Bound. We are on the dinghy and we're gonna take a wonderful ride up the creek with a paddle and a motor. Right, Captain Dan? Yo. We found a little offshoot of the Wahoo River. And we're gonna meander a little bit and see how, where it takes us. There we go, Captain Dan is at the helm. A beautiful breeze. There are some flies, but the faster we go, the faster they go away. You may notice that I'm sitting forward. I have this little chair I add in so I can face forward. That way I have a better view. And uh, Captain Dan and I, since he can't hear me with the engine and I'm facing forward, we use our headsets uh, that we use on the boat. So they do call them marriage shavers. <laughs> well, we're here so we can hear each other. I kind of look like Princess Leia, don't I? Got that whole look going on. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's Darth Vader. in Georgia. That's the night that the lights went out in Georgia. Georgia. Oh, that's pretty good. Georgie, porgy, putting in pie. That's all I got. <laughs>